let's get cooking. Hello all, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> I just worked out if you can't tell. Pro tip everybody, if you've got a large chest, I found a life hack for you. I worked out in this jacket today. This is from Lululemon. It's like one of those jackets that make you look like a soccer mom. I zipped it up all the way and I was able to do a lot of high intensity workouts without my boobs bouncing around. Highly recommend. Also, it made me sweatier, which I love a good sweat. So, I'm going to wash my hands and make myself some breakfast. I am trying to get back on my health grind. I'm going to make a breakfast shake for Cal and I, and I figured I'd share a recipe with you guys. You've probably seen this before back in the day when I used to make a lot of protein shakes, but either way, let's go. Okay, let me get the blender and wash my hands. Okay, this is everything you're going to need. You can easily do this in a personal, like, Nutribullet blender because I'm making it for two people. I'm just gonna put it in this blender here. All right, let's begin. We need frozen, well you can use a regular banana, but I think that frozen bananas are superior in any sort of blended concoction, just because it adds so much extra creaminess to it. These bananas are indeed from when I did that Olivia Rodrigo TikTok. I hope she gives you butterflies. You know what, I'm just gonna do the whole chunk. Hopefully that works, we'll see. Okay, so I am making a black forest shake right now, or smoothie, whatever you wanna call it. Black Forest means chocolate and cherry, which is a delicious mixture. I have here some dark sweet cherries. These are frozen, got them at the grocery store. You can pit and freeze your own. Throw some cherries in there. Two scoops of chocolate protein powder of your choice. Obviously this gives it the chocolatey flavor. A large, large, large handful of fresh spinach. Don't use frozen spinach in your smoothies because it doesn't blend properly and it just gets like PC and not good. Fresh spinach though blends really well with everything. Lots and lots of spinach. You literally cannot taste it and also of course just adds vitamins and greens to your day. Then we're gonna add some almond butter. This adds protein. You can do peanut butter, just a nut butter of your choice. This is mm, crunchy, that's fine. Because I'm making it for two people, I'm gonna do about two tablespoons. Now because I used frozen fruit, I don't have to put as many ice cubes in, but a few ice cubes just to make it cold and thick. And then for liquids, I'm gonna use some oat milk to add some extra creaminess. And also I like to add water. Sometimes I'll do just water, sometimes I'll do just oat milk, but today we're gonna do both. And then blender all up. Also if you wanna make it extra sweet, you can add like a date or something inside. Okay. Here we go, blend her up. SOS, don't know where the stick is, gonna manually mix this. Sorry guys, the card got full, but we've got a thick, beautiful, luscious smoothie, and I'm gonna separate this into some big jars and drink up. Hello all, welcome to my bathroom. Okay, I just took a very quick body shower. I'm drinking my smoothie. I'm getting ready because I'm going to an event today. I haven't been to an event in a very long time, and I am very excited. Today, I'm going to a White Fox event with Tiff and with Mia. Lauren is currently in Cabo, so she cannot go with us. So, Asian Girl Squad, minus one. <laughs> I'm really, really excited, so I am getting ready. You guys know, let me, I always try to talk while doing my makeup, and then it takes me forever, so let me try and go fast because I have to be in a bit of a rush. So, this is my pro tip to anybody who, you know, has something to do, but you want to work out in the morning, and you need to get ready very quickly. Think ahead the night before, braid your hair. That's why my hair looks, like, really crazy right now. I slept in these braids and worked out in them. You braid your hair the night before, sleep in them, wake up, do your workout, whatever, and when you take your braids out, they might be like a little frizzy, but you can put some styling treatment in it and it will give you a hairstyle that looks cute very quickly, no heat, it's amazing. So like I love the curling rod thing that you can wear overnight, but obviously you can't work out with that in the morning. And I like leaving it in because it just elongates the uh, time in which your hair is nice. I don't know if that made any sense. I can't think right now. Okay, I'm gonna speed through my makeup very quickly and we'll just speed through this and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okay, let's go. Look at these pink trees. Wow. I haven't been back to downtown in a hot minute. <gasps> Can we see our building? Where's our old building? There she is, right over there. There are so many cute things here. So many cute swimmer. Oh, you guys know I love a fun print like this. The music is blasting, so oh my God. We've got like a beautiful commercial playing. Sunglasses to choose. 
Toph, Mia, and I are sharing a rack and I put all my pieces over here. I get to pick out 10 things, which I'm really excited about. We came downstairs, guys, and they have, look at these gowns. I want a gown to wear home. Wow, this purple one is so pretty. This looks like the gray dress that Ariana Grande wore too. I forget what award show, but beautiful. Hello all, it's later. My voice is gone, I think because I haven't been out and talking to that many people and talking that much in a very long time. So my voice is gone, but it was so much fun being out. I'll show you guys a haul of everything later. It is later now. I came home, Cal and I watched Loki. We've just been hanging out and now I'm making some dinner. I figured I'd show you guys. I am making some healthy brownies right now. Healthy? Healthy brownies. It's got like monk fruit, almond flour, dark cocoa powder. I don't know if they're gonna taste good. I mean, this wet mixture is looking pretty good so far, but I just thought I'd check in, say hey. We're having a quick, easy dinner tonight. Dinner is served, super easy. I just made some sweet potatoes in the air fryer. I made the broccoli in the oven. I don't know why I've never thought about this before. I cooked it for a little bit in the microwave beforehand, or you can like steam your broccoli halfway and then bake it in the oven so it doesn't take nearly as long to bake. And I put like seasonings on it. I've got some chicken, Cal's got chicken. We've got just a rotisserie chicken here. And then my brownies are in the oven. You can't see, they look pretty good. Momo likes it, Daisy likes it. Also, Momo's ears are going down. Momo sits. Sit, sit. That's not a sit. Oh, now the ears are up. Never mind. We got the best treat possible. Oh, they're stoked. Good girl, Daisy. Good girl, Momo. Good girls. Oh. Sorry, strap in the way. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, I'll link below the recipe that I followed for these healthier brownies. I tweaked a few things and I think the recipe definitely has way too much sugar in it. I used monk fruit. It made like a little bitter almost or like too sweet. Try this, it's a healthy brownie. The texture is so perfect though. Pretty, the texture pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. It's fudgy. I'm out of vanilla extract, so instead I put yellow cake and brownie extract in. So it's extra chocolatey with a mixture of dark and regular cocoa powder. Wow, it's so good. I'm so impressed. They're really healthy. And the base is just almond flour. I want more. Yeah, go for it. Hello all, it's the next day. Hello. Smushy. Smushy. My hair looks terrible. Mm -hmm. I look really ugly. Anyways, okay, hello. Alicia just left. We recorded a really good episode of Pretty Basic. We talked about just things that we've been struggling with, things that we've been overwhelmed with, and to be honest, I feel like I just had a therapy session. I am in a great mood. It got me going for today. It was nice just to talk about these things with my best friend. And I think that a lot of them will resonate with you guys. So yeah, 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 yeah. So got that done. I am about to head out the door now and I'm taking my first Soul Cycle class. It's outdoors, but without a mask in like Two, two years, I think last time, a year and a half. Anyways, okay, we're gonna go. The class is themed 1989 Taylor Swift, so you know I had to go. I'm really sore, but it's fine. I'm gonna do my little life hack that I told you guys. Wear this Lululemon jacket, zip it up. Any sort of athletic jacket I think will be great for the tatas when I'm spinning. Okay, we're gonna go. See you later, babes, bye. Bye. <laughs> guys, I'm so sad. I left the house, I was all excited. I had my Celsius, my protein bar, I've got my shoes, I got all my stuff, and I got on the freeway, and then there was a giant accident and I wasn't gonna get there until like 15 minutes into the class so they wouldn't let me in if I had gotten there so I just turned around and came home and I'm just gonna work out at home which is totally fine I was just really excited to take a class outdoors and have no masks on but that's okay you know what that's fine we will work out at home and we will try again another time preferably not midday on a Friday <laughs> Okay guys, I've been working out, I've been spinning on the bike at home, and this bike has the ability to watch Netflix and Disney Plus while you ride, so I've been watching Happy Endings, which is like one of my favorite shows. I am Penny, Penny is me. Gina Rodriguez is in it too. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. Okay, gonna keep riding. Hello guys, I did my workout, took a shower. I used my purple shampoo today, which is my favorite day of the week because my hair gets all pretty and ashy toned. I'll show you all the products I use. I also put self tanner on, so I'm letting myself tan in my towel wrap, and I'm making some lunch let me show you what we're making all right first up lauren gifted the girls this little water fountain theirs broke and she happened to have one and gave it to us which was so nice so we set it all up their water fountain is all cute and set up for them do you want to go drink some water no? Okay. While I'm prepping lunch, I am snacking on some cherries. These are strawberry cherries. The girl at checkout said they taste like strawberries. Um, they taste like cherries, but they're good. And some pineapple, and then I'm gonna use this also to make lunch. For lunch, we are making barbecue chicken cauliflower pizza, which sounds so good. These are from Trader Joe's, obviously. I'm going to bake them on this pan, and then to top them, I'm going to use G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. This stuff is really good if you like barbecue. We've got extra chicken from last night. We're gonna do red onion. 
onion. We're gonna do tomatoes, oh wait, no, mushrooms, and then sliced pineapple. Oh, and also mozzarella cheese. So let's get cooking, I'll show you. Our pizzas are stacked. We got the cauliflower crust, barbecue sauce, cheese, Cal got extra cheese, I got light cheese, we got shredded chicken, I keep wanting to call it tomatoes, pineapple, and then shallots on top, and then for seasoning, I'm doing some garlic salt. Cal also wanted chicken skin, so he put that on the yes. pan. And then Italian seasoning to make it flavorful. Woohoo. Mamma mia. Beautiful. And now we bake for like 12 minutes. The pizza is out of the oven. The skin has gotten very crispy and tiny. And I get to use a pizza cutter. I don't think I've used this yet. Can you hold this? I'm scared. Ooh, so easy. Wow. Do you want four pieces? Probably four, right? Yeah, we'll do four. Wait, this thing is amazing. Why didn't I think of this? Hello all. Okay, as you can see, I fully got ready. I did my hair. I did my makeup. I was fully glammed and ready to go to dinner, and then dinner got moved. So I'm having some water, and I needed a snack, so I made this delicious... Oh, sorry. I'm shaking the table. Made this delicious mixture right here. I mixed together. This is so good. It was really fast, too. Oh, I should have added some, like, chopped onion to it. Do you guys have to go outside? One second. I know not everybody is a tuna fan, but I love tuna, so I mixed together... Tuna, canned tuna, a big can of canned tuna. I made a ton of extra so I can make sandwiches and like wraps and things tomorrow and the next day. I did can drained canned white tuna, mixed it up with a fork, and then I mixed in half of a large avocado in lieu of mayonnaise so it's a little bit healthier than traditional tuna salad. I did put two tablespoons of avocado mayonnaise inside though just to add the creaminess back. Garlic salt, pepper, onion powder, and then a little bit of pickle juice and some chopped up pickles. I personally used bread and butter pickles because they're sweeter and I prefer them and I'm eating it with some crackers and I feel like I have a little adult Lunchable. It is so good, so good. Anyway, so I'm snacking on this. I figured I should probably do that haul for you guys now. Speaking of which, did you guys hear that the Subway tuna, they found no traces of tuna in it and they don't know what's in it? Scary. I've eaten a lot of Subway tuna sandwiches and I'm fine. Where am I? All I know is I'll never have another one now. Mm, mm. Okay, let me finish this, and then I will show you what I got at the gifting yesterday. Sorry it's taking me so long. All right, finally, guys, we are doing the haul of the stuff that I picked up yesterday at the gifting suite for White Fox and the showroom. So, hold on, sneeze coming. And it passed. Okay, let us start with White Fox. So, this is the cute bag they gave us. How fun is this print? And I love the little handles. It's like a zebra. So fun. Okay, okay, so at the event, we were able to pick out 10 things. I think this is the first time I've ever been to an in-person White Fox event. I think it's the first time. And I was so surprised. 10 things is so many things to pick out. So thank you so much to White Fox. I am so excited. First up, I got this bikini set that I cannot wait to wear. I'm going to Hawaii very soon, so I'm going to bring all the stuff. Also, I'm going to vlog for you guys, of course, so it'll be so much fun. Going with some friends. It's going to be such a good time. Also, my hair looks a little like poodle-ish right now because I haven't brushed it out yet. That's why it's very curly. I picked up everything in a large, by the way, and I got this adorable bikini set. They had it in purple, they had it in green, they had it in coral, I think, and then they had it in blue. And I just thought the blue kind of matched my hair and skin tone the best, personally. These are the bottoms, and the material is really, really pretty. I like the side ties because I can tie it up higher on my hips. The butt has like a little ruching up the back, which is very flattering, you know? There you go. Little ruching up the butt. And then for the top, they had a normal triangle, which I love, but I figured for a larger chest that this would just fit a little bit better. I feel like this will be a little bit more supportive. So the top, I think you can do either like a cross, you know what I mean? Like when you cross it like this, or you can just do around your neck like a halter. And I loved that the back had this little adjustable band, which I think will just, again, be flattering for, you know, any back fat or anything it got going on. And lastly, I got this adorable sarong skirt, which of course completes the matching set. It'll look so fun, tied up like that. Okay, next up, I picked up this dress, which to be honest, I didn't know it was a dress. I thought that it was a skirt with a little belt tie, but then I saw people on Instagram trying it on and I realized, oh, it is a dress. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to pull this off, but we will try. <laughs> I'll put it on over my shirt right now. So it's got the little dress part, skirt part, at the bottom here and then this is a shirt this is a shirt you know what i still could wear it very hannah montana style this is legit what i thought it was supposed to be i thought i was gonna wear it with a little top like i mean yeah it's not that cute like that okay so what you're supposed to do is take the straps and this is supposed to go up like this on your boob, which my boob is hanging out. If I simply take a breath, it's gonna have my boob pop out. So I'm gonna have to try and work that later with some tape and maybe some nipple covers and just see how it goes. And if not, I will indeed donate this. 
I grabbed this swim top, which I am obsessed with this print. They had a matching bottom, but it was way too tiny and something that I wouldn't feel comfortable in. So I just got the top and I figured I'd wear it with some white bottoms or some blue or some pink or whatever color bottoms I have. But I like that there's like a nice cup in here. It felt like a little more supportive. I like the ruching. Then I got three of these tops, which I love, 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 love corset tops. And I love that these are not as structured. A normal corset is great, of course, don't get me wrong. It's so sexy and so awesome, but sometimes you can't breathe in them. And sometimes you wanna wear a cute corset top and be able to breathe. So these are a great happy medium because it's like a normal shirt. It's actually like stretchy and it's got mesh on it. It's breathable while also still being like a corset kind of feel with the lining on the inside. So I got this top here in this same blue gray green dress skirt thing. I also got the same style in this brown and blue and tan one. I thought this looked like a marble nail kind of art thing. You know, remember like that marble nail thing? That's what it reminded me of. And then lastly, I picked up this style with little cups in it. And this reminded me of like a hot chocolate or a latte. Love it. I thought it'd be perfect with some jeans, some sneakers, just dress it down, super casual. And then last but not least, I picked up these two skirts, which I thought would be perfect swimsuit cover-ups, just like a fun little look. We've got white here and it's all mesh rhinestones. You can't really see how much it sparkles, but it sparkles a lot. And then I also picked up the black one because, you know, love having options. Not quite sure how it ties. Oh, there's like a little loop on it. Nice little fun moment. Hi. Okay, so that's everything I got the White Fox event. And then at the showroom, I just picked up some random things from a bunch of awesome brands. First up, I got from Dime Eyewear. These glasses and I tried them on last night and Cal said I look like Edna Mode. But these are giant blue light glasses. Wow. <laughs> I do look like Edna Mode, but I just thought they'd be great to have when I do computer work. My prescription glasses have blue light lenses in them, but when I'm wearing contact lenses, obviously they don't. So I figured these would be great to just use on my phone, on my computer, whenever I'm doing work, and I wanna protect my eyes because they're already bad enough. Speaking of corsets that will make it so you can't breathe, I picked up this one here. I love that corsets have become actual normal clothing, you know, not just for the bedroom, which great for the bedroom, but also for a normal day. It's white and it just ties up at the top like this. It laces up in the back, kind of looks like a wedding thing. But I thought this would be cool to wear with jeans, just like, you know, dress it down yet again. I love a good corset moment. Okay, we'll go through this quickly because there were a lot of different things. I picked up this little bikini bottom and the matching top. This is from VDM. I loved this print, a pretty pink paisley. This is a large. I don't know about that. This truly does look like a small. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Again, if it doesn't fit, we will donate. I also got this swimsuit from Nookie Beach. I love this champagne glitter. Oh my God, Momo's playing in the back. This champagne glitter, very cute. From the brand called Stax, I got this pink sports bra and I love the high neck cut. I like that it's not like a this high neck cut, but it's higher neck and it's higher on the sides and it's a long line, which I live for. So I am very excited to wear that. I think that will also be good for cycling and just any sort of high impact. I picked up from Matte Collection. I got another sarong and I love the orange color. I thought it'd be very nice for summertime. I don't own anything orange. Also from Matt Collection, I got this little top right here, just a brown little bandeau top, perfect for tanning so you don't get tan lines, and I love the brown color. And then last but not least, I picked up this dress here from Nookie as well. I really like this Nookie brand, and I thought this was really pretty. It's a brown, stretchy dress, so it'll be nice and comfortable, but it goes into a turtleneck, but there's like a cutout right here in the middle to show a little cleavage. It's short, and again, best of all, stretchy, so it'll be comfortable, so. That is everything that I picked up yesterday. And my battery's gonna die, so I'll see you soon. Hello all, as I promised earlier, I wanna walk you through all the product, I can't get over my ringlet hair. I wanna walk you through all the products that I use for my little self-care day today. Okay, first up, I took a shower, obviously, and I used my purple shampoo, which I love, love, love this one right here. Shimmer Lights by Clairol, it's really great because it's very inexpensive, and my hair legit looks so ashy now. It's like a very nice ashy tone. Then for, con what are you doing in the shower? <laughs> for conditioner, I used my matching Shimmer Lights conditioner. I love, 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 love this stuff. Seriously, especially when my hair is getting extra brassy, I love to use this. And I mix it with a little bit of my Redken All Soft just to make it not as concentrated. Come on, littles. And then I scrubbed my body with my Herbivore Amethyst Body Scrub. I like to use this before I self-tan. And it's really nice and it smells amazing. Then once I get out of the shower, I put this Shimmer Lights Leave-In Styling Treatment into my hair. Again, it helps with the brassiness. It just makes it nice and soft and easy to 
manage also and less frizzy along with this product which is whoa this is my redkin one united all-in-one multi-benefit treatment i use this just basically in lieu of a detangler so i mix these two together brush through my hair let it dry and then for my body i use the glow recipe watermelon glow pink dream body cream on my elbows and my knees and my ankles and then this is what i use for my body tan this is the isle of paradise self tanning butter it is so good it gives like a really nice golden tone and as you can see it already developed in like a few hours you don't have to wash it off it doesn't smell weird i love it so much i love the tone that it gives off and overall it's just really easy so i use it on my body and then on my face i use the isle of paradise self tanning drops and i just mix this with my moisturizer i do about seven drops put it on my face wait a couple hours and then i'm good to go so that's everything i used i wanted to keep it out to show you and yes hey guys what's up okay it's the next day i ended up going to dinner last night sorry i was in a rush when i left i will put the picture i wore the little skirt dress thing i'll put the picture here if you don't follow me on instagram you should i tried to wear it you know this way and my boobs had i exhaled i would have popped both boobs out momo but instead i figured out a way to wear it where my boobs wouldn't fall out so as you can see in the picture it worked out anyways it is the weekend i am chilling i've done nothing today i have no plans today i napped i've hung out i might clean a little bit but that's all i have planned and i am very excited so yes love you guys and i hope you have a wonderful day thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye